Well, welcome to my workshop. The plans for a toy car appear on the GAW website, but this video shows a Mark II version. We get the two tone effect by gluing up a timber block of approximately one third maple and two thirds mahogany. The centre is marked at each end of the blank and another centre is put 12mm away. When offset turning, I do like to label the centre. This avoids confusion later. Now it's time to switch to the second pair of centres. It's a bit bumpy to begin with, but I am resisting the temptation to reduce the lathe speed. If you can get a smooth transition at this intersection point, you can save yourself a lot of 80 grit later. After turning, it is easier to trim the car body on the bandsaw when it is stuck to some square timber. Thank goodness for hot milk glue. A bit more hot milk glue gets it back on the timber block so I can trim the ends. Now it's time to drill a hole for the driver and the axles. Turning the wheels in pairs like this helps ensure you get the same diameter without a lot of measuring. Now for the wheel spacers. These laburnum spacers have a couple of functions. Firstly, they prevent the wheels rubbing against the car body. And secondly, they help to keep the front and back wheels in line. A hardwood is best for the axles and beech is ideal. The diameter I am aiming for here is 8mm, but the axle ends which fit into the wheel itself are 6mm. Now this gives a shoulder which helps prevent wheel wobble. Try saying that after a few pints. This half inch step centre I'm using is really useful for this type of job. Gluing the axle to the wheels using the lathe helps keep everything in line. Uh, the tail stock picks up the witness mark left in the axle end. 
So glue in the driver and some maple wheel hubs and we're good to go.